Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to dual boot Catchy OS and Windows 11. So, let's get started. So, first of all, open your web browser and search for Catchy OS. Click on the first link from the official site and click on download and direct download the desktop edition. And once you have downloaded it, go to another tab and search for Rufus. So, we need Rufus to make a bootable USB of Catchy OS. So, download the latest version of Rufus. And once you have done that, close your web browser and insert your pen drive, which is at least of 8 GB. And please make a backup of your pen drive data before proceeding. Now go to your downloads directory and open Rufus. Now select the catchOS ISO file which you just downloaded. And for the partition scheme, select GPT. So if you are confused, go to system information and if you have a UEFI, you need to select GPT, otherwise you can leave it on MBR. So after that, click on start and this process is going to take a while, so I'm going to fast forward it. So finally, this process is complete. Now close everything and then right click on your start menu and open disk management. Now click on your local disk C and select shrink volume. Now give at least 60 GB of space for catch OS and click on shrink. Now close your disk management and then restart your computer to boot from the catch OS USB. Now while your computer is restarting press the boot menu key which is usually the escape key or F12 key to open the boot selection menu and make sure that the secure boot is disabled in BIOS. So once you are in boot selection menu choose the USB option and it will open the catch OS USB and you need to select the first option. Now it will start booting from the catch OS file so this may take a while so I'm going to fast forward the boot process as well so finally we are in the live environment of catchy OS so first of all make sure that everything works so before installing and before installing make sure that you are connected to the internet and your power if you are on laptop so first I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi So after connecting to the network, click on launch installer. Now it will ask us to choose the bootloader. So for dual booting, grub is the best. Now it will automatically choose the language according to your region so you might want to choose your desired language so I'm going to choose the English language and click on next. Now it will auto select your region if it is correct then you can proceed on and it will select the keyboard layout by default you can leave it on default. Now you can choose the manual partitioning if you know what you are doing or you can choose to request a partition and make sure that the correct SSD is selected if you have multiple disks and choose replace a partition. Now select the free space which you created on windows and it will automatically create a partition for a catchy OS and it will install the bootloader on the EFI partition of windows. So it's a simpler pro process. And once you have make sure everything is correct, click on next. Now it asks us to choose a desktop environment. You can leave it on plasma. Now you can leave the options as it is. Now give your credentials.
now it will give the summary of the installation if you are okay with everything then you can click on install now the installation process is going to take a while so I'm going to fast forward this part so finally the installation is complete click on restart now and click on done Now while your computer is rebooting, press F2 key to open the BIOS menu and then go into the boot tab and make sure that the catchy OS has the first boot priority. Now save the configuration and exit. Now when you start your computer, you will see a group menu to choose between the operating system. So as you can see this is the catch OS grab menu you won't see windows option at first so we need to put into catch OS and change the grub settings so finally we have put it into catch OS I'm just going to enter my password to login So finally we are in the desktop. Now to fix the grub you can do these following steps. So first of all open a terminal. So since this is KDE I am going to type console and after opening the terminal you need to type sudo nano slash etc slash default slash grub. now this is the grub configuration file now you need to look for a line which says grub underscore disable underscore os underscore proper is equals to false so you can find the line and you can uncomment the line by removing the hash in front of it so just let me find the line quickly So I'm going to uncomment that line by removing the hash symbol in front of it and then press Ctrl plus O to save the file and Ctrl plus X to exit. Now you need to regenerate the grub config file by typing sudo grub dash mk config dash o and then slash boot slash grub slash grub dot cfg. now its output will show found windows boot manager it means that it will detect windows boot manager on next boot so let's restart and boot into windows to see if it is working or not so as you can see in this scrub menu i can see the windows option so let me boot into that So as you can see we have dual booted Windows 11 and catch you as successfully. If you like this video then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.